Welcome to another review from 411vapes.com. This is the second review of the Grand Vapor clone of the M16 mechanical mod from VaporTechUSA.com. Uh, the reason I'm doing this second review is because of, I don't think I was clear enough on on a few things one of them being the batteries that it accepts and the other one the quality of the 510 threads uh, we'll just go ahead and start from the bottom here again this is from VaporTechUSA.com right now it's on a pre-order you can get in there and pre-order the device it's got a few different pieces here it's made out of aluminum and brass it's actually a really nice uh, constructed device very simple what we've got is the bottom piece here that the button plugs into or screws into the spring and the button that does, does come apart this is the uh, battery connector I would say that uh, the button screws into when you push the button the back there actually uh, makes the contact with the battery so go ahead and uh, put that in there as you can see it's got a nice nice seal and for this you just screw it in screw the button in pretty pretty simple you all see see if I can get that in there that the device has maybe you can't see it I was hoping you'd be able to. Anyways, the device does have a serial number on it. There it is. Um, I'm assuming that's a serial number. I'm not 100% sure. The locking ring here. Button can be pushed when it's unlocked. Locked. Button can't be pushed. I'll leave it locked. This is the bottom connecting tube. That screws in all the way. Made out of aluminum. The brass connector here, you will see, has one, two holes for venting. I'm not going to screw it all the way down because I am using an 18650 battery. As far as batteries on this, the device does actually use. Or will accept an 18350, an 18500, and an 18650. I myself prefer the 18650s for the uh, length of vaping time. Grand Vapor, if you look real close, it actually looks like Gand Vapor. It's got a nice little logo etched into it. Go ahead and screw that top connector on. And then what we have here is the uh, 510 connection now the reason I wanted to redo this is because I've noticed that the threads are not the machine the greatest on the connection on this um, after just a few weeks uh, they are getting a little wobbly and uh, this device I do use at home and I do take it with me to my 9 to 5 but it uh, it is pretty much babied and the connector or the the threads are getting a little loose so that's something that uh, you might want to take into account if you plan on purchasing this I was gonna screw that in but let me go ahead and put the uh, battery in there 18650 simple completed device very nice looking device um, mine can actually hold its weight while it's unlocked I never leave it that way I always leave it locked just to be safe let me go ahead and 
guess I wasn't too prepared. Let me go ahead and throw a pro tank on here. And like I said, this is, you can see the even, you know, so the threads are a little wobbly. Maybe it's just mine. I find it hard to believe that it is just mine, but I've seen worse things happen. Let me show you the vapor production on here. So as you can see, nice vapor production. It's got a really nice hit. Um, it's a nice, simple mechanical mod. Uh, the Grand Vapor clone of the M16 purchased through VaporTechUSA.com um, Myself, I may actually get another one because I do like the quality of it. Uh, the threads being the one thing that need to be babied. That's not uh, not going to be an issue for me, but for some of you it might be. Uh, that's really about all I can say about this this device, this mechanical mod. Again, Vapor Tech USA. This is uh, another review done by 411vapes.com. Go ahead and uh, pop on over to our site and check out the other reviews. Until the next review, vape safe.